lose in this historic night for the franchise and a historic night for the Hall of Famer number 19, Jonathan Taze. Yes, tonight was a historic night for Jonathan Taze as he becomes the eighth Chicago Blackhawk to play all 1,000 games with the Chicago Blackhawks tonight. And in this game, as you can see by the score, they lose four to nothing. Bobrovsky of the Panthers shut us out and the Hawks could not answer. They had the goal chances, they were shooting it on net, getting the chances, and they could not beat Bobrovsky. If it wasn't for Bobrovsky, this game could have been a win for the Chicago Blackhawks. But on the other end of the ice, we had Colin Delia in net. So, as we know, Delia this year, not really a good goalie. Honestly, none of our goalies have been good other than when Marc-Andre Fleury was a Chicago Blackhawk. So, what happens? The Hawks um, spoil a historic night for the captain in tonight's action against the Florida Panthers. They had uh, looked like they came out right, wanting to win this game for Taser, but it didn't work. This game, it had to have meant a lot because the Hawks looked like they could have won it by how many chances they were getting on Bobrovsky. But Bobrovsky just knew what this game meant to the Hawks and he decides to destroy it for the Hawks. So, a historic night failed by the Chicago Blackhawks for offense and defense. The Hawks had offense going, but they couldn't bury one past Bobrovsky. Jonathan Tays had a few chances, Debrinkit had a few chances, Strom had a few chances, Kane had a few chances, but they could not find the back of the net. They had a total of 37 shots on net tonight, but could not get one past Bobrovsky. How many shots did the Panthers have? 44. So it was a high shooting game, but the Hawks were able to not score and allow four goals against. 44 shots faced. Delia looked solid. A couple of the goals were five-hole goals, granted. So, kind of weak goals if you count a five-hole goal the way he does. The last one definitely could be one that he would want back, but that was a five-on-three goal against. So, as I said, multiple times. This was Jonathan Taze's 1,000th NHL game. I'm wearing his rookie jersey for today's game, and they can't do anything about it. They looked good offensively. They were getting the chances. Honestly, probably should have won this game, but they couldn't beat Bobrovsky. That was it. They cannot beat Bobrovsky. He spoils the Blackhawks' A historic night for Jonathan Taze. So let's get to the goals of the game because it was all Panthers. In the first period, about 30 seconds into the game, the Panthers scored, but the goal was taken away as uh, Alex Barkov kicked the puck be on his skate through Delia. So no goal. Good call by the refs to go back and take a review on it because it was a clear no goal. He kicked the puck back behind Delia. But Barkov was able to answer later and he was able to answer twice tonight. So he could have had a hat trick, but he decided to kick the puck in. At 1824 in the first period, Alex Barkov scores his 30th of the season, first of the night, assisted by Gustav Forsling. And Carter for Hagee. This goal was a bad defensive letdown. Calvin DeHaan caught standing around. And Barkov goes into the crease. Deking the crap out of the puck. And basically dangling Delia out of his pads. 
it's one nothing Panthers. No fight back for the Hawks, but honestly, in that first period, the Hawks looked solid. They were able to hold the Panthers to, yeah, they were able to hold the Panthers to 17 shots, but in the first, like, 10 minutes of play, the Panthers were in the Hawks' D zone the entirety, and the Hawks couldn't get their first shot for a while, and the Hawks managed to get 11 shots that period. Okay, that's pretty good. And they had good opportunities. They had roughly 13 chances on net in that period alone. And they couldn't bury one past Bobrovsky. So we go to the second period down by a goal. And as I said, we lose by four goals. The Panthers were able to put up two this period. Hawks had a power play to start the second period, and they had the chances, could not beat Bobrovsky, and the Panthers come out with more attack. Hawks had a um, moving, most uh, had a couple gr grade A chances, and Bobrovsky stoned him, and then coming down the ice, um. Lumberg scores his ninth of the season, assisted by Joe Thornton and Racco Gudis at 7:23. This goal was a breakaway for Lumberg, as the Hawks were in the offensive zone, and they were getting the chances in the crease. They just could not beat Bobrovsky; could not lift the puck at all. They could not lift the puck quite a bit tonight, to be quite honest. It leads to Gudis getting it over to Thornton. And Thornton throwing the puck down the ice for Lumberg, and Lumberg goes on the races, catches um, Calvin DeHaan in the neutral zone sleeping, and goes top shelf on um, Colin Delia. So Hawks are down by two, which sucks, and they still can't answer because they can't score. They destroyed the thousandth game for Jonathan Tays tonight. Nice job, Hawks. Really nice job. So, a few minutes later, at 11.46 in the second period, former Blackhawk, Gustav Forsling, scores his third of the season, assisted by Sam Reinhardt, who crashed the net. That should have been a goal, but they the Hawks challenged it. And the refs deemed it good goal. Uh, you could, I could honestly say this was should have been goalie interference, but they didn't call it goalie interference as um, Bennett. They claim Bennett didn't interfere with um, Delia. In my opinion, he did. The goalie interference. What the heck is it, honestly? There's no true definition of goalie interference, is there? So, goal by Forsling, and the Hawks are down by three. Hawks have to kill the power play. They do. We go to the third period, down by three. Hawks come out with more attack. Cannot beat Bobrovsky. Had a couple more opportunities. Still can't beat Bobrovsky. Panthers come down, get a couple chances. Cannot beat Delia. And then the penalties came out. At 13.47, the Panthers get a 5-on-3 power play. Jonathan T is getting sent to the box after Reese Johnson was just sent to the box. So, it's a 5-on-3 power play for the Panthers. What do the Panthers do best? Score goals. What's this power play setup they do? They throw five forwards out there because they know the Hawks' defense is trash. Because our defense is the worst. So, what happens? At 1347 in the third period, Alex Barkov scores his 31st of the season, second of the night, assisted by Jonathan Huberdeau and Sam Reinhardt. The Hawks could not get the puck out of the zone. And it leads to a goal against on the power play for the Panthers on a 5-on-3 attack. Hawks defense sucks. We know that. This team's a rebuilder. We know that. The Panthers are viewed as a Stanley Cup favorite. That's definitely known. This team just doesn't know what to do. They have zero identity. 
it's ridiculous. Their identity was the last two games blowing leads. And tonight showed how we are to rebuild her. I feel bad for Jonathan Taves. This was his thousandth game and the Hawks get shot out in it. The Hawks offense were moving the puck well. Trying to get it past Bobrovsky. But Bobrovsky was a brick wall out there and the Hawks could not beat him. The Hawks had issues and they just could not do it. It was just a frustrating game to watch. I feel bad for Jonathan Taze in his thousandth game, but he has an opportunity in the United Center on Sunday night for his thousand second game, but his silver six ceremony. So maybe that game the Hawks are able to do something as they play the Coyotes. Tomorrow though, they play the Tampa Bay Lightning, another Stanley Cup favorite as they're the defending two-time Stanley Cup champions. So, the Hawks are in for a rough week again. So, here we go. Let's see what happens. Down in the comments down below, I want to hear what your favorite moments of Jonathan Taze's career are. And thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, I'm sorry, Taser, that this game got spoiled by getting shut out from Bobrovsky screwing us. Let's go Hawks.